This video is about determining the location or the existence of not available or NA values in a vector or uh, not a number values in a vector. So let's create a vector. To demonstrate, let's create a vector first, x, and we include some values, some uh, real values with some NA and not available and not a number values. For example, 1, 2, and then the not available value and a, 3, 4, and maybe an an, an an value, 5, and 6. So from here you can see the first value is a real value, second value is also a real value, the third value is a an a value, the third and fourth is a real value, and the fifth um, and the sixth sorry, value is a not a number value, and so on. So let's declare this first. And now, ha if we like to know the existence, let's say we don't know whether there's any NA or NAN values inside this vector x, and we like to know whether there exists some or any NA or NAN values inside this vector, we can use this function called isNA. It is a function, isNA dot at is dot na is a function, uh, so a function can be used to conduct a process onto a vector which produces results. So we uh, we use this function and then place the object or the vector inside this function, like so, and this function will tell you where the na or nan or the, in this case the na exists in the vector. So after I press enter, then you see the results. So you see here, the first value is um, it's not an NA, that's why it's false. The second value is not an NA, false. But the third value is, a, is an NA, so it's true. The fourth and the fifth, again, false, false. The NAN is also considered to be an NA value, so it's true, it is an NA, and then false, false, because five and six is a true value. Now to determine NAN specifically, we can use this function called is, is dot NAN x, press enter, and you will see that um, again it would show it would show that the first second is um, is not an NEN, even the fourth, the third value is not an NEN, it's just an NA value. The third and the, the number three and four again is not an NEN, but the sixth value is an NEN, so it becomes it, it declares it shows as true and then false and false. So this too is NA and is NEN is a very useful function we can use to determine the, the presence of NA or NAN in a vector. Now in this case you see that the, there's only eight values in a vector so it's easy for us to determine if there is NA or NAN in the vector but if you have a vector that consists of a million values so it becomes impossible for you to um, determine whether there's NA or NAN just by looking at it.